Excellent. Okay. Pop up on Gypsy in the top left of the map playing Protoss. That turn rate settle for a moment. There we go. In the top right, we have G5 as Zerg. And down here in the worst spawn by far, Machine once again getting Zerg, his main race. Look at these stupid jokes. These stupid fucking corny jokes. AC. <laughs> top ally. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. These are... These are all very old school things that you would say to trick people and uh, you'd say uh, to not trick people as well. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, Machine as Zerg in this terrible spot that's in the middle of the map for some reason. Just bru Look, look at this. How do you defend this against anything? Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Bottom right. <laughs> Looks like this is Jayun as Protoss. And then over here, we have TT1 as Terran. <laughs> Look at this. I love this shit talk. It's amazing. By the way, guys, don't forget, everyone is streaming. Use the command streams in chat if you want to watch them first person. Discover what a terrible map that this is. But look, okay? So, for instance, this is a pretty good spawn. Okay, you have this little bridge. Look at this. Are you going to move an army here and then over this bridge that's like the longest bridge ever made? This is like four circuit breakers bridges. What is this? Look at this. We got all these ramps going up this weird area. Are you going to put turrets over here? Like, what? <laughs> what is this? It's so crazy. But anyways, uh, it's pretty wide open. We have all these trees for some reason. We have this little lake surrounded by trees. Someone made this. They, like, made this little lake, and they're like, you know what we need around this? We need these old-looking trees. Yeah. And then we have, over here in the top right, a Zerg player. The minerals out to the side. Hilarious. Of course, like I already pointed out, machine in the middle of nowhere. Look how far away his gas is. That's a four gas. That's four drones minimum on that gas. Look at how long it takes. <laughs> Oh, God. Look at this spot. You got no room here. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so we have G5 sent over Lings. Like I mentioned, G5, pretty good with Zerg. Oh, and he's going to he's gonna do some damage here. Gypsy's going to be salty from this one. He better have a Zod about to pop out. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, okay. He can, he can probably live. Oh, there's more coming, though. Mm. Oh, shit! There was a counterattack! Machine hit top right! Look at this! He's only got four drones! Three drones! He's only got three drones! He's making two sunks! You know, like... Gypsy's actually okay. Even if he loses his pylon, he's okay. Because G5 doesn't have anything. All he's got is this small amount of lings. Look at how terrible this economy is. Oh my god. Who is gonna die first? <laughs> oh, his Zelon! Ah! Oh, nice micro there. Honestly, uh, Gypsy has some of the best micro I've ever seen in a non-Korean player. Although this is turn rate 8 and he's playing with an off race. <laughs> Look at this. G5 is literally macroing off three drones. Oh, you know what's happening here? G5 is just trying to not get eliminated first. Like, if he kills... If he can get Gypsy to leave, then he's in the next one, right? But, like, yeah... Yeah. Ooh, now that a goon is out? Oh, there's no way, right? I think G5 is going to die first. Let's look down here. Okay, we have... Uh, <laughs> we have TT1 turtled up with a bunker. Very nice. Go top left. 
<laughs> I love this, that G5 is literally on three lings, just producing Zerglings, trying to kill Gypsy. He might do it, too. It is a real possibility. Oh, that's a lot of lings. Oh, good pullback by Gypsy. This is such a funny scuffle. Uh, in the meantime, just the fact that uh, TT1's getting to three Factory Vulture, he should be able to kill everyone. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that. It looks like Machine is starting to kill everyone, but the Vulture should end up taking it, right? I'm just having so much fun watching this battle over here. Oh! <laughs> You're, you know, the funny thing is, right? Like, uh, we see this guy. Who is this again? This is Jayun. Uh, he's still staying here, and I think it's correct because we have multiple people on the brink of dying right now. This is definitely going to turn into TT1 against Machine. 100%. I wonder if Gypsy should have made a forge. Like, if you get one cannon up, I think you're safe forever, right? Very little left here for Jayun, just trying to not be dead. <laughs> I like seeing these strategies come out. I could see Gypsy being frustrated and GGing also, though. Jayun's like, very smart. And I like that he called for people to attack top left. He realizes that, like, oh, <laughs> you know, someone else needs to die before me. And G5's stupid strategy of having three drones is working out. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Gypsy is going to die, too. Who dies first? Who dies first? <laughs> oh, he's going to catch his probes. Oh, he gets one out. He gets one out. What do we have for Jayun? Jayun has one up here. Machine and G5 are not attacking each other. <laughs> he's got two songs. Oh my god, is Gypsy going to be sent is the first one out here on the second map? I can't believe G5's strategy of just having three drones is actually working here. <laughs> Let me live. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, he hid something? Oh, is that it right there? See, this is a good move. Middle, middle, top of bridge. <laughs> Gypsy has a fun. He has. Look at this. Jayun has three buildings left. <laughs> he wants someone to kill Gypsy first. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> Gypsy has something else. We gotta find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> oh my god. I honestly can't even find it. <gasps> is that it? Yeah, that's Gypsy's pylon. Oh my god. Okay, what does Jayun have? This is a Jayun pylon. Another Jayun pylon. Oh, look at that. Oh, that one's well hidden. That is a well hidden pylon. <laughs> Gypsy's trying to buy the victory. Okay, so they each have one pylon left. Uh, yeah, Jayun's out of money. God, it just comes down to who finds their pylons. It's so crazy. Okay, Machine has some good macro going. 
It's like three factory mech against three hatch Hydra is what it seems to be. Hydra Ling. Oh, I love that this is like an island down at the bottom that has no meaning. <laughs> it's this cat and mouse. Really looks like it. Jane Pylon, Gypsy Pylon. G5 is actually sitting here making more sunks. He's still on three drones. Every drone he makes turns into a sunk. I don't even get it. Like, <laughs> you're... Oh, I guess he's... No one actually got eliminated. So G5 sitting here on his terrible economy is like, okay, we just make sunkens to try to make it... No... Imagine if he dies first now. While these two bimbos are arguing because they each have hidden a pylon. <laughs> That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Yeah, for those those of you asking, we play till the end. There is a prize, a $10 prize for winning a map. But the first one out is more impactful in many ways. All right, so now instead of a drone, we have two more lings. <laughs> What is he doing? Oh, he found it. Gypsy was eliminated. GG, Gypsy. <laughs> Jayun's so happy. Jayun should just out now. He should just GG. So Jayun and G5 are basically out of this game as well. All right. We have a Spire for Machine. He, Yeah. Uh, it looks like he's taking another base here. That is such a hilarious base. Look at this. I tell you, some of these maps, like this one's making me really nostalgic. I remember playing on maps like this. In fact, I probably played games on this back in the day. I think I played every map in the Brood War and StarCraft folders when I was a little noob. So fun, though. Like, the layout of this map, it's like you could never see this competitively. But look how fun that is. You cross these two bridges, you have this little island right there. Alright, so who wins between TT1 and Machine? Uh, now, TT1 is, like, he's taking his third base. The third base of Machine just got canceled there. And he does have a lot more supply. But, uh, honestly, looking at the armies, if, if, um, if we have, like, a good, a good, like, uh, engagement from Machine, he definitely will kill the army. There's not that many tanks. It's very Goliath-heavy. And so, like, Ling Hydra can do pretty well if he, like, he needs a good spread and everything. But look at this. There's so many trees. Trees actually provide, like, a high ground cover. They, like, have a, a chance to miss if you're under a tree. These guys aren't Terran players, so they probably don't know that. All right, TT1 coming up. It looks like he's going to kill G5 now. Honestly, I'm surprised that Jayun has not outed the game. <laughs> it's like... You're not going to win, so it doesn't matter, as long as you're not first out. Look at this Protoss player sieging up in sunken range. Oh my god, the Muta attack! Dude, that is wrecking. That is wrecking right now. I think Machine has it. Pretty sure. Like, this army is not going to kill everything that Machine has, but the Mutas are doing so well. All right, G5, GG's, and is out. GG from Jayun. So we are down to two. TT1 up against Machine. Yeah, definitely liking uh, Machine's place right now. It's hard to play against Mutas with Mech. Like, if they just mass Mutas, 
He's only got four facts. Well, he can finish the fifth, but... The Mutas just have so much power. Ooh, the attack. Maybe he can draw him back. <laughs> He's got a lot of mines here, which can help a lot. But the mutas themselves, I think, kill everything. Like, he does not even need the hydras there. Ooh, I think Machine's gonna take it. Machine had the worst spawn, by the way, to start. I just want to point that out. But he Zergling rushed Jayun. And G5 Zergling rushed Gypsy. TT1 was allowed to build and went mech, which I think is totally fine. I generally prefer to go uh, Marines in, in free-for-alls, but going Vulture is really good, too. Mutas coming in to clear out. I guess Machine is down to one base. Barracks time for TT1. He doesn't have any production is the problem here. Oh, if he gets that, yeah, he's going to get it. Look at that. He actually clears the Spire and all the hatches except for this one. All right, TT1 GG's. And Machine is the winner of the second one.